Hi, welcome. Hope everything is well with you today. So today I'm here to show you how you can create a 3D object using 3D shapes in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve and uh, the easiest way you can move them all together without worrying one staying behind. So if you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I usually do videos about uh, DaVinci Resolve, some reviews about stuff related to video. And as I said, today I'm gonna explain you how you can create a 3D object using 3D shapes and adding some image and some videos to that uh, 3D object and the best way you can move it around without worrying that the 3D shapes are not uh, sticking together. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it. Here we are in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and this is the TV that I'm going to show you how you can create it and how you can move it together. So let's see how this is in the Fusion page. So this is the Fusion page for doing this TV and that's what I'm going to show you. Let's create a new Fusion composition. Right click with your mouse, new Fusion composition. Let's give it a name, new 3D TV. Let's open the new 3D TV composition and it's an empty composition with just our media out. So let's start creating the TV. I always start by adding my render 3D over here and let's start adding some shapes to create the TV. Let's add our first shape. Let's put it in the viewer one and I'm going to use a cube over here. Let me Rotate this. If you don't know how to rotate, it's easy. You just press Alt or Option on Mac and your center mouse or your mouse wheel and you can rotate it. Let me put this a little bit up. Resize it. For resizing is using Control or Command and your scroll wheel. And it's the same. So let's go to the Transform, unlock the X, Y and Z and let me come to the Z and reduce the size and let me go to the X and increase it a little bit like this to give it a little more rectangular shape and it's done. Now I'm going to add some texture over here. Just add an image of oh, that a JPEG over here and then connect and then it's done. Now let me connect this to here. Let me go here and use uh, Hardware render, add some light and some shadows, the ability to have light and shadows. Now let's add some light for doing that shift space and directional light over here, add it over here and put it here and select it and I'm gonna put it somewhere around here and I'm gonna rotate it like this and I'm gonna put it a little bit back. You don't see any difference because you have to connect it. So let's connect it to our shape, output of the shape and create this merge. And now you have it like this. Now let's add here the stand of the TV. For doing that, you're gonna add another shape, shape 3D. And this shape in this case is gonna be a cylinder add the cylinder let me connect this to over here and let me put this here and as you can see, let me put here the one so as you can see the cylinder is too big let's resize it come here in this case let's put it small 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 let me see if everything is okay it's everything okay Okay, I'm going to resize a little bit more. Now, let me give it a color, change the color like this, a little bit darker. And now let me add the rest of the base. So for doing that, another shape over here. Let me connect it over here. Let me change the shape to another cube and let me resize the cube also. Let's go to the transform. Let's unlock. In this case, let's reduce this a lot, something like this. Let's move it a little bit down. 
over here and let me resize the X and the Z like this and let me reduce the Z a lot and I'm gonna give it the same texture so I wanna connect the image also and here we have our TV and now let's add the screen. For adding the screen, you're gonna add an image plane 3D over here. Let me connect the image plane 3D also here. Let me put it somewhere around in the middle. Now you don't see it because it's inside of the TV. Let's go to the transform and let's go here to the Z and let's bring it out as soon as it appears very slowly. You leave it there. Now let's resize it. Let's go over here and resize this a little more. Now let's go to the shape, the first shape over here and increase a little bit more of the this. And go again over here and resize. And let me go a little bit up. And okay, it's done. Now, if you want, you can connect to this image plane an image or a photo. I'm gonna add, a, sorry, a video. And now I have the video and if I play, you can see that the video is playing. Let's go to the first frame again. Now it's done. Now how you can move it all together. It's very easy You select the Merge 3D, Shift Space and look for the transform, our friend transform, in this case, the transform 3D and add it. And now you can move everything together and put it in frame. But we don't want a normal, the normal frame, we want a camera. So let's add our camera over here. Let me connect the camera to this merge and let me move the camera over here. Let me zoom out a little bit and you can put it somewhere around here. Let me, okay, it's done. So as you can see, it's our TV, it's over here. Let's go to the first frame, go here and add a keyframe minus 360 and add a keyframe. Let's go to the last frame and write 360. And now you can see that the TV is rotating and it's done now if you go to the edit page let's remove this tv and add our new tv 3d and if we play it here we have our tv rotating so as you could see it's very easy of doing this and with this technique you can use multiple uh, shapes to create an object and then move it all together. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video like this one. Until then, bye!